So we're going to go through in Photoshop and show you basically how something like this is actually made. So we have a composite image that I did. There's actually 15 different photos that are used to create this underwater image here. We're going to start off by turning these layers off at the very top and opening up our background layer. We can see right down here on the very bottom, we're starting off with a single photograph and this is what makes up like the background of our image. And this is very simple, just using basically curves adjustment layers. And I'm able to make areas brighter and areas darker. This rock here, we've got one on the left and then one on the right there. So this is actually the original photograph that makes up the ceiling of the cave. So we're gonna turn this image of the coral here and then we have a stingray. Basically, when you think about like layers and groups and organization, Things that are farther away from the viewer should be lower in the layers and things that are closer should be higher up. We have a little bit more light and that's gonna be behind our subject. And then let's go ahead and make our subject visible. So you can see each of these is just layer by layer. So as we can see, we're in this group. You can see this is the original photograph that we're working with. And then all of these different layers that are clipped to that subject. And we can see this is the color of the original photograph. And I'm gonna hold shift and disable that layer mask. So we can see within this composite is the original photo. So these layers just stack on top of the original photograph. Next, we have our midground. We'll go ahead and turn that on. And that is just made up of these rocks here up on the top. We have all these fish are cut out from the background. And that kind of creates our composition Next, we're gonna turn on our foreground. We have like an additional coral that we've added here in the foreground. We have some fish here. So we can see the objects closer to the camera are gonna be the darkest and farthest from the camera are gonna be the lightest. So we're gonna go ahead and work through like one of these examples. So I wanna take this image here, but we're gonna take this and actually place it into our scene. We're gonna start with our move tool up here on the top left and we're gonna click and drag from one image to another. But let's go ahead and bring it to the very top to start with. First thing I wanna do is basically start to cut out this coral from the background. We're gonna use the magic wand tool right over here and click right here and it's gonna select similar colors. I'm gonna hold shift and click a couple more times and this is just gonna help add to my selection. What we're doing is actually selecting the opposite of each individual fish. I'm selecting the background and then I can invert my selection very easily. Click here on your layer mask and click right here in your contextual taskbar and go to invert mask. Pretty good job cutting all that stuff out of its background. We're gonna hit L for the lasso tool and I'm just gonna make a rough selection right around this area here. And I'm gonna click on my layer mask and I'm gonna go to edit to fill and then we're just gonna say to fill this with black. Black on the layer mask means invisible and white means visible. I have my layer and I have my layer mask. We're not in any way deleting any part of the original photograph. We're simply hiding what we don't want with the layer mask. I'll hit Control or Command T. We're gonna right click and go to where it says flip horizontal at the very bottom. And then it's gonna flip it to the other side. And then if I wanted to, I could put it down here. So let's go ahead and put this in the foreground here. I'm just gonna put this right above our fish on the right hand side. I'm gonna group this with itself and we're just gonna call this new coral. So always do the light first and then do the color. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to do the lighting. So we're gonna go to layer, down to new adjustment layer here, and we're gonna go to levels. And we're gonna go ahead and check that. That's gonna make sure that this levels adjustment layer is only going to affect the layer underneath it. It's gonna be very easy for me to match. Look, I can just bring this a little bit darker. There we go, kind of push my midtones up a little bit and bring the lights a little bit darker. So if I unclip it, you can see it affects my entire image. But as soon as I clip this again, it's just going to be that area of the photograph. So let's go to layer, down to new adjustment layer, and we're gonna go over to where it says color balance. I wanna make sure that's checked because we wanna create a clipping mask there. So we'll hit okay. And it has this little down arrow letting us know it's clipped and all of these are pointing down to the layer that it actually affects. So I'm gonna take our midtones. We're just gonna push them towards cyan a little bit and towards blue a little bit. So I'm gonna take my highlights. We'll just push those a little bit. Maybe take a little bit of blue out of the highlights and we'll work with our shadows. We have a layer mask, a levels adjustment layer and a color balance adjustment layer. And that is all you need to get your images to blend together so you can create fantastic composites just like this. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. Hi, everyone.